What's up, guys? David Nguyen again, and uh, I was about to interview Mark about uh, MySpace. Cause, uh, he, Mark here just set up his MySpace page just yesterday, yeah. and I want to acknowledge you for that, Mark. Thank you. So how do you feel now? I feel exuberant. <laughs> okay. I, I'm even higher, I'm taller. <laughs> Tell them that you, you, what did you do? You uploaded pictures and what, you did a blog this morning? Yeah, I did a blog about a dream that I had this morning when I woke up. So you, want, you want to tell people about it? What is it? The dream? Mm -hmm. yeah, well, the dream was uh, I was in, in a, um, like a, uh, where, like a, an assistant league or a cancer foundation gift store and I found this teapot that was a particular shape that I'd been looking for for years and years and years. And then there was a whole complete set. It wasn't the old version, it was the new version that they had made a copy of it. And it was such a complete set, and it was so big, that I ended up not buying it because it wasn't something I needed, nor did I have space for it or a place to put it. And at first I felt a little sad, because I thought, oh my God, this is something I've wanted for so long. And then I realized, well, you didn't need it. It was something you thought you wanted, but you appreciated the fact that it was there, but you didn't need to have it. Mm. So I think that's kind of where, where I am in life is, you know, there's lots of things I thought I needed, but I really don't need them. I just appreciate them and then let them go. Wow. That's, that's powerful, Mark. So when, when you don't need things, it just starts coming to you more and you are more appreciative of the things that you now have. Right. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Awesome. And you, and you share that on your blog? Yeah, I did. Wow. Okay. And I asked people to interpret what it meant for them. Okay. You know, dreams are mean different things to people. I was taught that dreams mean that you're always about you. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Yeah. What, what I want you guys to get is Mark here never heard of MySpace before. Or actually, you probably heard of MySpace. He never got to um, setting up his page. And through through just seeing the results that I'm telling Mark that sites like MySpace and YouTube, Web 2.0 sites connect people together and really get that how you and I are connecting is exactly through Web 2.0 technology, then Mark got enrolled in the possibility. And I want to acknowledge Mark for being courageous, being you know a leader, and just setting up his MySpace page through um, uh, watching uh, Eddie Solorio's tutorial. So I also want to acknowledge you too, Eddie, for putting out a great video to provide value for people. And uh, Mark, you want to say anything to Eddie? Oh, it, Eddie, thank you. It was so easy to follow. It made huh. it made it just going click, click, and I was able to do it so easily. Thank you very kindly. Okay, perfect. All right, anything else you want to add here? We're looking forward to a fabulous day. Awesome. <laughs> All right, guys, David Wynn here just having some fun, and I, I'm going to create the space and the possibility to interview some high school students and uh, and just, just get their takes on uh, what they want to do in their lives because uh, this is Career Fair Day here at... Uh, Hill, uh, Hillview High School and what really what I'm about is to really touch, move and inspire young entrepreneurs and if I can find some here that will be awesome I'll get that for you guys on camera and get their views again on MySpace and YouTube so David Wynn day 20th or 21 I'm, I'm kind of is it day 21? 20 I think 20th? no actually day 21 because yesterday was day 20th oh, okay. of my 9 day challenge and today is May 16th 2007 David Wynn signing off peace for now guys